Hey guys, what's up? So I've, uh, going back to an idea that uh, came up in Chess Bootcamp Live recently in my last session, we were looking at what should we play against d4 and I, I started wondering about um, getting into the King's Indian defence, which a few people have also suggested in comments. And then I, I just kind of asked myself the question, is like the King's Indian playable against e4? And I just started looking around and I've stumbled across something that looks very rare, but is in fact quite dangerous looking. And it's called the Norwegian Gambit. Um, comes from the Norwegian defence. Now Marcus, Marcus Magnus, that's the guy, he has, he has played this. I haven't looked at the game. I've just looked into it very, very briefly. But I thought I'd let you guys in on this because it looks kind of interesting. Now, in theory, it's, it is playable against 1d4 as well as 1e4. Um, so how does it go? Well, you go um, pawn to e4 and then g6, which looks like the modern defense. Okay, And, I, you know, the modern defense is, is good. It's, it's, it's a hypermodern opening. The most common move by far. Now, I've got my settings set here to 1800 to 2200 leeches, right? Most common move is d4. White's going to grab the center, so thank you very much for that. And of course, most commonly here, you'll see bishop g7 from black, okay? You'll see pawn to d6 to discourage that move. Um, a knight to f6 is the third most common move. It's played, though, only 2% of the time. Bishop g7 is played 90% of the time. Knight f6 and this looks kind of weird because white's going to be going. Okay, well I can I can push my pawn forward and uh, disrupt the knight. Now the most common move here is knight to c3, and we will look at that. Okay. Um, now, can you play it against d4? Well, absolutely, because it's an e4 and d4 opening. However, uh, when when you push this, then e4 is rarely. Played. It's played about one in seven games. The most common moves are pawn to c4 and knight to actually knight to f3. Knight to f3 it, uh, is is common here. Okay, so it is kind of playable against this, and black does okay. You know, black does all right. Um, and you know, if if you get a c4, you just put like bishop, push bishop g7. If they play knight to f3, you can still play knight to f6, okay? Now, now, let me show you how it, it goes well against the normal opening. And this is, by the way, again, all of white's top moves. e4, you play the modern, which kind of looks boring or whatever. They grab the center, say thank you very much, and you throw your knight out. Now, at this level, a good intermediate level, right? Knight to c3, we'll look at in a minute. That is the most common move at 44% of the time. But 28% of the time, you will get this. Yeah, so it's a bit like a Russian, right? So, you know, the Russian game is... is e what am I doing? Stop it, right? e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6, and you're prompting white to push the pawn again, okay? Um, that's the... the Okay, the Petrov. Now comes our signature move, and this is why it looks like a gambit. Knight to h5 is the idea. And what's most common from white? Well, white sees an opportunity maybe to win a pawn and mess up our, our kingside safety. They play this. It's plus one for white. Okay, but black is already winning 56% 50, of the time from here, and this is a good intermediate level, guys, right? You just push d6 like you would do with a perk. Again, let's scroll down. Most modern, most common move here, bishop takes on h5, right? Obviously, you recapture with a pawn. And queen takes h5. And here, white's um, lead, according to the engine, is starting to evaporate. We have this nice six pawns in a row. White's got the center. White's got the queen out, kind of wayward style. What could possibly go wrong? Well, we capture the pawn here. Um, they will usually uh, recapture with the queen. And now the move is rook g8, targeting this loose g2 pawn. Okay. And oddly, yeah, the, the most common move here is pawn to g3. And this is simply a blunder. 
Why is it a blunder? Because we play our knight out to c6. Um, queen drops back to e4. We can capture here in the middle. Basically, what we're going to do, we're, we're going to complete development. We're going to long castle. And we are just all over white. This exact pos uh, exact position has been reached in the intermediate, inter intermediate range 350 times. Black has won 71% of the games. Okay, if we trade queens, we're looking down here at c2. I mean, material is equal, but it's negative 3.5 in black's favor. Okay, so that is the Norwegian gambit. I haven't looked into it in great depth, but I just thought I'd uh, give you guys a heads up on this. Now, there's a transposition line as well. This one's slightly with d4. You, you never know, you might get this. Now, the most common move here from white is knight to c3. Okay. If they've played the two central moves, okay, which isn't going to be the most common because most of the time you'll get, but you never know. They they might they might play knight c3 on move two and whatever. You know, we'll see. Okay, they bring the knight out. They bring the knight out. Then d6 just transposes into a normal perk defense. Um, you can play bishop g7, but here d5 again kind of puts the question to white: What are you going to do in the center? Right, we've got lots of good control here. I've got good good control here. The most common move from white again is pawn to e5, and then what do we do? Uh, yeah, you're right. Knight h5. They do this. You bring out your knight. We've already played our, our d pawn, so there's no d6 here. They will take. You recapture. Most common move is actually just bishop e3. You develop. Then they take. You take back on c2, and these these are all the most common moves and you recapture with a bishop here, it's already better for black, and black wins 56% of the time from here. So, bottom line, if you're looking for something offbeat, um, but that you know will do well, even against um, stronger players, um, then this Norwegian defense, Norwegian gambit, may be for you. So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys in on this. I'll show you how this, this normally goes from here as well. We grab the center. This is all very good, and we are just doing better here. It's now minus 1.9 in black's favor. Black is better, and black wins. Well, quite a position's only been reached twice, but there you go. Um, I thought this was an interesting one, so it might be one worth exploring a little bit more. Let me know in the comments what you think. Otherwise, thank you for watching. See you later.